The first women's basketball inductee hails from Meigs County. It's Tommy Jewell. When I was a kid, Growing up in Athens, my daddy used to carry me in his arms to watch Tommy play basketball and football and baseball over in Decatur, where his daddy, Doc Jewell, was the Tigers' legendary coach in several sports. Tommy followed in his daddy's footsteps. True confession, my daddy didn't have to carry me in his arms to watch Johnny. He was just a couple of years ahead of me when he was winning all those tri-state honors. Tommy went to college at East Tennessee State then Tennessee Wesley, and he played golf for the Bulldogs his final two years. And then he returned to Meigs County to coach the boys' basketball team for eight years. They were region champions, state tournament runners-up, and Tommy was coach of the year in the 1979-80 season. After putting the finishing touches on a 166-90 and record as the boys' coach, Tommy took over as the Lady Tigers coach, and as you might say, a star was born. Ten of Tommy's Max County girls basketball teams were regular season district champions. They won the district tournament nine times. They were region champions nine times. Ten times they were in the Sweet 16 of the state tournament. Five times they were in the final eight. Twice in the final four. They were runners up once in the state tournament and two times. Those young ladies brought the state championship back to Meigs County. Tommy's 1993 and 95 teams were ranked nationally by USA Today. He had four Miss Tennessee basketball winners, Rachel Powell in 1992 and 93, then Misty Green in 94 and 95. By the way, three of Tommy's former players in the, were in the 1996 NCAA Women's National Championship game. Misty Green playing for Pat Summit's Lady Vols, Rachel Powell and Pam Irwin played for Andy Landers' Georgia Lady Bulldogs. Tommy was the 1993 Knoxville New Sentinel East Tennessee Coach of the Year, the 93 and 95 State Coach of the Year, and in 1995, the Chattanooga Times Best of Preps Coach of the Year was Tommy Jewell. Yeah, he learned a lot from his dad and from Dwayne Farmer, the legendary head basketball coach at Tennessee Wesley, and a lot about discipline, respect, and winning, and building, too. Tommy helped start the softball program at Mex County in 78, helped start the girls' cross country in 87, started the girls' and boys' golf programs at Meigs County, and he coached both of those teams to several individual and team championships. Tommy retired from the school system in 2003, having coached coached all four of his children, the three boys in golf, daughter Emily in basketball, and that's pretty cool right there. Tommy owned a piece of and ran the Lake Haven golf course up in Lamontville for several years. After selling that, he went to work for the folks up at the Springbrook Golf and Country Club in Nyota. Tommy and Laura have been married for 40 years. In addition to the four kids, there are four grandkids and two great-grandchildren. I can't figure out who is the most recognized, famous sports person from Meigs County High School. I don't know if it's Cotton Lettner, or if it's Doc Jewell, or if it's Ty Kriskauskas, or maybe our newest member of the Chattanooga Sports Hall of Fame, Tommy Jewell. <laughs>